Another strategy for subtraction would be to use a blank number line. There are two different ways that this can be used. First one would be to start with the big number, take away the smaller number. So you're starting with the 364 and using your understanding of place value to break up the smaller number into its smaller bits. So you could take away a 280 and a 6 or you could take away the number in any amount of parts that you want to so long as you've taken away the 286 by the end. So recording that using the little arched lines and just putting at the top how much you have taken away each time. So in this case I've decided to take away a 200 because it should be quite straightforward to do that as a first step. So now I've got 164. Looking at this I've got an 80 to take away so if the child is confident, they can take away the 80 all at once. Or they could split up the 80 into smaller bits. So at the moment, I've got six slots of 10 or 60 in my number already. So I'm just going to take that away. Which again, should be quite straightforward for the child to do. So you've got 104 left. I've only taken away 60. I need to take away 80. So that means I've got to take away another 20. And then that should give me 84. If a child has difficulty doing that in their head, then they could put the 104 in their head, count back on their fingers, one lot of 10, two lots of 10. So they're counting back 104 in their head, then 94, 84. That's their two lots of 10 on their fingers. So you've got back to 84. You've still got to take away a 6. So from here you can see you've got 260 and 20. That means you've taken away the 280 altogether. You still need to take away a 6. In this case again, your units here, you've got 4 units. So you could take away just that 4 units if you want to use that as a step. Taking you back to 80. And then... Finally, you just need to take away that last two, counting back from 80, you've got 79, 78, and that's our final answer.